Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about how to solve the exponential equations. We have talked about it for more than three videos. In this video, we'll solve this equation here. And uh, it is very easy actually. It has a trick and you need to know uh, this trick in order to solve this one. I will explain it to you. So stay with us and let's jump into the computer now. So, we have 4 to the power of x minus 10 multiplied or by 2 to the power of x plus 21 equal to 0. So how we solve this equation? First thing we need to do is to make, obviously, when we always try to solve the exponential equations, we need to make all the terms with the same base. So let's say we have here x minus 1 and multiplied or plus 4 to the power of x minus 2. We need to make all the bases the same. So here, let's say, uh, 2x minus 1 plus here to be 2 multiplied by 2x minus 2. So now we have the same bases and we can solve the two of them together. And here we need to do the same, the same step here too. So it will be here 2 because 4 is 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. So we can type it like that. x and 2 minus 10 divided by 2 to the power of x plus 21 equals 2. In the other terms, we cannot reform them to make the same base. 21, for example, there is no numbers that we can put over 2 to get 21. Let's say 2 to the power of 4 or to the power of 5 is 32. We didn't have 21. The reasonable thing that we can do now is, which is that we need to substitute this 2x with, let's say, maybe y. So that means that whenever we have 2 to the power of x, we will put y instead of it. So here it will be y, but to the power of 2 by square minus 10 it will be the same 2x so we have 2x then we put y 10y plus 21 equals to 0. so there we have it now it is a quadratic equation and we can solve it with we open the two packets what are the two numbers that when we multiplied it to each other give us 21 and when added to each other give us 10. It is actually very easy because 7 and 3 when multiplied to each other give us 21 and when added to each other give us 10. So the last sign is positive that means the two brackets will have the sign of the yeah, second term. So the two of them are minus minus. So our y here is y1 equal to 3 y to equal to 7 but the equation did not end here because now we have the values of y but here we have x our variable our our unknown value is x and we need to find what x equals to so we need now to jump here to this equation say that y equals 2x so here we need to 2x equals to 3 and 2x sorry equals to 7 what you can do now let's do it in another page so we have said that we have 2x equal 3 and 2x equal equals 7 now what we can do now it is a normal exponential equation we have just to do the opposite of the exponential, which is the logarithm, log. But in which base? Log 2, because the base here is 2. And when we, have, when we do the log 2, this 2 will cancel this 2, because the rule is like that when we have log a to the base of a, and this base is to the power of b, that's equal b, because this a will cancel this a, and we have just b. It is the same concept here. We just need to do like that. Log to the power of 2 
and the base of 2 here the power of x equal to 3 equals to log 2 base 3 because when, whenever we do an operation on one side we do it on the other side too so then this 2 will go with this log and we have here x equals to log 2 to the base of 3 and you can do it with your calculator and see the exact result or the exact value of x now let us do the other one it is the same now need not to do it the log 2 it will be here log 2 the base of 2 under the power of x equals to log 2 to the base of 7 yeah this 2 will cancel this 2 and we have just x equals to log 2 to the base of 7 this is our result this is our x and this here our x2 so you can do it in the calculator and, and see the exact result of them so yeah this was our video for today thank you for watching and see you in the next one oh don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel see you in the next video